Okay, today we're going to do a review on these cutting devices. I had to cut down some small trees that were invasive growing into my hedge and I have this pole saw, a machete with serrated cutting device on the back as well as the front blade, little hand axe, and a survival knife much like the machete with a serrated rough cutting edge on the back with the smooth blade on the front. Here's what I discovered. Okay, when using the pole saw, this cut the best on branches. You know, this kind of action and this curved piece works really well. However, when I had to cut the trunk, like going this way, the saw was getting stuck because as it was cutting into the wood, the top of the tree was wanting to come forward and it was pinching down on the blade. I actually had to go get some gloves and a hammer to get the blade unstuck out of the wood. I had to press really hard on the top part of the tree and then hit the back of my blade uh, with a hammer to get it out. Um. So the pole saw is definitely best for branches rather than a trunk. Now, the machete worked far better for cutting the trunks, and these were small trees with um, trunks the size of my arm, uh, the smaller ones being like my wrist and the bigger ones being more like up here. Um, however, my hand did get tired fast, it's like it was absorbing a lot of the shock. The axe actually performed the best, the quickest, with most ease. It was easier on my hands. Uh, I was able to cut the wood quite fast. The one trick with the axe, uh, you do need to be exact with where you're hitting it every time, okay? But uh, you'll get the hang of it. Uh, for me, it comes quite natural. I haven't had problems with it. Um, this is a vintage axe. I did put a... Uh, sharper blade by uh, using my grinding stone um, and that helps. I like that it has the hammer on one end and you can take nails out with this little notch here. This is a fabulous survival tool. So of the line up here, bigger is not better. Uh, the axe, the smallest one, performed the best for cutting down small trees. I think the machete would work better in a jungle-like situation or with a lot of vines or vegetation where you can just come through with the big blade and have it like clear everything at once. You couldn't do that so easily with a little tiny blade on an axe. And I have this survival knife. Um, okay, here's the thing. You could cut small branches with this serrated edge. I did give it a try, but you're going to be there a long, long time. But if it's something smaller, like thumb size, for some, uh, like to get a fire going, uh, this is a very good survival tool. It also comes with a fire strike, and you can use the back of your knife to get sparks to start a fire. So I highly recommend something like this. It also has the, uh, what do you call it, paracord attached to it, which you can do a lot with as well. Um, I own probably about a dozen or so different saws. Uh, I do like to make furniture, uh, but I have saws for everything, like hacksaw for uh, pipe and metal, um, the drywall saw, the wood saw, finishing and rough. I have hand saws, electric saws. I also have a pretty decent knife collection. But today the review are on these for cutting trees and wood for survival situations or just clearing out old dead wood. But um, to be able to start fire is very important and wood is always available to you unlike other fuel sources. 
Um, so you could, you know, of course, keep warm with wood, uh, cook your food, sterilize your water, uh, keep big scary things away at night, that type of thing. So these are my tools here, and I recommend the axe as the ultimate for chopping wood. Um, this is a very old piece. I would say something with a wood handle is going to absorb shock better than, let's say, a metal handle. Uh, and I could really, really feel the difference on how comfortable it was using this axe versus the machete where my wrist and hand was absorbing all of the brunt of the course. Um, of the lineup though, if you are doing branches, the pole saw is the winner. It is designed for that. So think of horizontal cuts for the pole saw, vertical cuts for the axe. And miscellaneous for the machete.